Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today, what I'm going to talk about is art block and how I deal with it. Um, I'm sure if you're an artist or a writer, uh, you often experience this, that you don't know what to draw or what to write next. Um, personally, obviously, I only have experience with drawing, so that's what I'm going to talk about. First of all, I'm going to talk about what causes art block for myself. Um, often, art block is caused by overworking myself, by stress uh, and anxiety. And obviously, that's something that um, some of those things can be helped and others cannot. But um, yeah, what definitely helps first off with art block is not overworking yourself. And uh, I am very guilty of doing this. Uh, it's not very smart, but once you're in like the mindset of working, it's really hard to stop yourself sometimes. Um, but yeah, I'm working on that and you should too if you find yourself guilty of doing that. Um, I want to talk about what I can do to help myself get out of an art block. Because usually when you're in an art block, you don't feel inspired, you don't really know what to draw, you don't... Just nothing comes out the way that you want it to. So I have a few notes on what I do when I have art block. Usually I listen to music, my favorite kinds of songs, lyrics that I like that inspire me. I watch other people draw, which always helps. Watching someone stream or watching speed paints that somebody else did because I often feel inspired when I see someone else draw because it makes me miss it. <laughs> and then obviously resting. I know you probably don't want to hear this, but resting is a big part of recuperating from art block because you know, your brain kind of gets in this state where it just wants to work and the less you manage to work, the more you'll rile yourself up about it. So just try and take a rest, take a day out, see friends, you know, play games, watch a movie, read a book, read fanfic if that's what you're into. Just do something that isn't drawing and that like keeps your brain off of drawing. What also helps me a lot um, when I have art block, because it's my job, it helps me to have that pressure. And even though that's not really healthy, it does help me because I know that I have to put out content. So I often just force myself to push through, but that's not always easy so what I suggest you do to kind of like you know give yourself room to breathe before art block even comes your way is whenever you have an idea whenever you have something that um, comes to your mind even if it's just like a stupid little meme idea write it down what I usually do is I write down my ideas in my um, notes on my phone so I have just a little folder of notes of things that I thought once would be fun to draw or that I want to draw. So that once I don't have any ideas or any inspiration, I can go back to that and look at it and, you know, decide on maybe something that I might feel like drawing, you know. Another thing that um, you can do is maybe try and do some draw this in your style work for other people. I think that's also something that because you don't have to really like think about what you want to draw yourself. You can just look at somebody else's artwork and try to transfer it into your style and your your work, you know? I think that could be definitely an asset when you have art block. Other than that, you could try doing studies. You could draw clothes or landscapes. You could just try to draw something that you've never drawn before and look at it with a clinical eye. 
um, and try and draw it without, you know, pressuring yourself. Draw it without putting the expectation on yourself that somebody else is going to see it. Just do it for yourself. I think that's definitely good to do anyway. But, you know, if you're wanting to post your work, just try and put less pressure on yourself to create something that is worthy of being seen, you know? Just, you know, let your hand loose. Do whatever makes you happy. Also, something that I noticed that helps me when just nothing would really come out is if you're drawing digitally, change your brush or change the color of your brush because that can immediately help. It's like for writers, uh, this is something that I hear a lot, <laughs> is that when they don't know what to draw at all, they change their font to Comic Sans. And I know that a lot of writers have told me this. They hate that it works, but it does, that suddenly they are able to write without issue or just write something without putting that pressure on themselves of it sounding really good or whatever, you know? So try that. You can also try a different medium. You can try to draw something traditionally if that's what you don't usually do. You can try to draw with a pencil. You can try to draw with a ballpoint pen. Try to draw with watercolors. Just do something that isn't what you usually do. Other ways of creativity are also something that you can do. For example, a few weeks ago or months ago, I started embroidery because I wanted to have a different outlet of creativity. And it definitely helped me because it was something that was creative without being drawing, you know? And another thing that you can do um, that I usually think about when I'm art blocked <laughs> is draw someone else's OCs. Maybe ask your friends. Be like, hey, do you have an original character you would like for me to draw? And I can tell you for sure that they will be like, yes! <laughs> because everybody wants to see people draw their OCs. That's just the normal human response, I would think. And uh, maybe if that doesn't work for you, I'm sure you've got old pictures that you've drawn. Take one of those old pictures that is maybe a few years old and try to redraw that. Take a new spin on it. See if that does something for you. Because I think that can always... Always having like something that is already done definitely helps you kind of like get over that hump of art block. Because you don't have to think about, oh, ah, it has to be very deep or whatever, you know? Because a lot of people that I know who have art block are trying to create these masterpieces that need to like everything needs to be amazing everything needs to be special and new and this crazy art piece you know but a lot of art is just repetition and copying from you know from life and from your older self because that's how you grow right you look at your old work and you see the differences from from two months ago, from a year ago, from five years ago. And I think that's like a lot of the stuff that helps me when I got art block. And if none of these work for you, then maybe you just need a break. Maybe you just need a week away from drawing, just not holding a pencil at all to draw. Sometimes that helps and um, yeah. Either way, if you're art blocked right now, I feel with you, I've been there, it sucks, and you're gonna get through it. It might just take some time to like get back up in the saddle, or whatever you know the saying is, but you're gonna get there. It's just a, it's a process, and no artist has ever just like drawn their whole life through without ever taking a break, because that's just not healthy so <laughs> yeah thank you so much for listening i hope this was helpful in any way and i hope you enjoyed this beeping it took a long time <laughs> thank you so much for listening to me babble bye have a good day